What's up everyone, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a few proportion word problems. So these are the two questions we're going to go through and let's get started. Okay, so take a moment to read through this first question. Now, if you look at the first sentence, the denominator of a fraction exceeds the numerator by 7. What that means is, is that if we call the numerator x, if the denominator exceeds the numerator by 7, that means we could call the denominator x plus 7. Remember, exceeds means that the denominator is more than the numerator, and by 7 means that it's just x plus 7 if we call the top x. But then in the second sentence here, there's like a little transformation that goes on. So I'm going to just rewrite our fraction, x over x plus 7, but I'm going to leave space. And now when we read that second sentence, if 3 is added to the numerator, so let's add 3 to the numerator, and 9 is subtracted from the denominator, so we'll subtract 9 from the denominator. The new fraction is equal to 3 over 2. So now we just set this equal to 3 over 2. So then all we have to do here is simplify this fraction here on the left and then solve the equation. So we have x plus 3 over x plus 7 minus 9 is going to simplify to x minus 2 because we're just doing 7 minus 9 is negative 2. And this equals 3 halves. So then to solve this equation, we're just going to cross multiply. We have 3 parentheses x minus 2 because we're multiplying. We have to distribute is equal to 2 parentheses x plus 3. So then when we simplify here, we're going to have 3x minus 6 is equal to 2x plus 6, and which is the result of us distributing the 2 through this set of parentheses. So then to solve, we have x's on both sides, so we can move the 2x over by subtracting 2x. And now 2x minus 2x cancels. We have x minus 6 is equal to 6. And then to solve for x, we just add 6 to both sides. This is going to cancel out, telling us that x is equal to 12. But then we have to be careful. The question is asking us to find the original fraction. So this is the original fraction before we did any transforming. So if we plug back in, we're going to have 12 over 12 plus 7, which simplifies to 12 over 19. And this is our final answer to the first question. But one thing we could do here to check is see if we plug it back in, if it works out to 3 halves when we do the transformation. So if we do the numerator plus 3, over the denominator minus 9. Well, this works out to 15 over 10. And if you divide the top and bottom by 5, you get 3 over 2. So this problem does, in fact, check out. So we could be confident that our answer is 12 over 19. All right, take a second to read through the next question. Now, we're told here that this guy, Michael, is the best free throw shooter on his basketball team. Early in the season, however, he only made 9 out of 20 shots. So this is our first ratio we're going to use. But by the end of the season, he made all the additional shots that he had taken. And he ended the season with a record of 3 to 4. So this is giving us basically like his shooting percentage, like how many shots did he make out of the ones that he took. But the main question here is how many additional shots had he taken? So basically, after his 20th shot, how many more shots did he have to take, getting them all in the hoop, to end up with the ratio of 3 to 4? Well, let's look here. At the start, he's starting with a little record here of 9 out of 20 shots. Well, now let's look at the trend. So for understanding here, so this is like kind of like part of our note-taking thing here to set up the right equation. Because with word problems, sometimes the challenge is setting up the right equation that his next shot he makes. So if he made 9 shots out of 20, well then the next shot he made would make 10 out of 21 shots total. So that's if he makes the next additional shot. He now has 10 out of 21 shots. And then he makes the next shot, that's going to be 11 out of 22. And then and so on, 12 out of 23. So this is the pattern, what's happening here. Each time he makes a shot, the numerator goes up one, and the denominator goes up one as well. So then what we have to think about equation-wise is that 
how many additional shots does he have to take to end with a record of three to four? Well, he has to take X additional shots. So now he makes nine plus X additional shots, and that means he would have taken 20 plus X shots in total. And you could see here, this is kind of like, it would be like if X is equal to one, we have nine plus one over 20 plus one. This would be X equals two, X equals three, but we need to find the exact fraction in the list that reduces to three over four. So we need this to be equal to the ratio of three to four, and just know three to four in a fraction form is equal to three over four. So then all we have to do here is solve this equation for X, and we'll know how many additional shots that Michael had to take. So we cross multiply here, and we're gonna have four times 9 plus x in parentheses is equal to, and we have 3 times 20 plus x. So to solve this equation, we're going to have to distribute both sides. So we have 36 plus 4x equals 60 plus 3x. So now we've got x's on both sides, so we could bring the 3x over to the left side. And 3x minus 3x cancels. And now we have 36 plus x is equal to 60. So then to solve for x, you just have to subtract 36 on both sides. And this tells us that x is equal to 24. So how many additional shots does Michael have to take? He has to take 24 additional shots. So this is our answer. But for a question like this, you should absolutely check to see that the numbers satisfy the original conditions. So to check here, we're just going to plug this back in and see if it does in fact work out. So remember, he started off making 9 out of 20 shots. And if we're claiming that he took an additional 24 shots, well that means he made 24 shots, so that means he made 33 shots in total, but now he took 20 plus 24 total shots, so he took 44 shots in total. So that's 33 in the numerator and 44 in the denominator. And if you reduce this fraction, dividing the top and bottom by 11, you're gonna wind up with three out of four, which matches the ratio that we were told, that he ends with a record of three to four. So x equals 24 shots does in fact check out, and it's our solution to the last question.